Hello and welcome back to the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. We got a packed week of stuff. And we're going on to the Brazilian Grand Prix. We've got two races left. Now, if you, uh, if you remember our sponsors, we got a couple of new ones. I just went ahead and uh, managed our sponsors. We kept some. Uh, we lost some others. I think I'm going to have to keep Gabanka Dunk Gabanka Gun like my entire career mode because like, how could I just like get rid of Gabanka Dunk Gabanka Gun? I don't know. I don't think I could. However, we brought in two new sponsors. Uh, Zay, Zay Neto, everybody welcome. Zay, Zay Neto, they're from 1872. And we got Painite. Painite doesn't sound very good, but they're they're paying us money. So the goal still stand. Uh, complete a race with no DNFs for Gabanka Dunk Gabanka Gun. Uh, Zay Neto. Answer at least two interview questions during a race weekend. I mean, let's be honest, that one's going to be pretty easy. Uh, and then pain, right? Achieve a top 12 finish during the race. I think that's that's pretty fair. And that that's especially, that's a 267,000 bonus. So, uh, and 211,000 weekly. So, you know what's cool about this, though, too? Is that I didn't realize our primary sponsor is TriStar. And their goal bonus is, t is two points finishes during a season. And that's a 10 million bonus. I don't know. Uh, hold on. 10 million bonus. <laughs> oh, baby. I look forward to seeing that money in my bank account. All right, so here's a look at it. Botas leads the way. He's got a nice little lead over Charles. Lewis Hamilton's not far behind him. Still three-horse race, two races left. But I guess Botas could clinch today. He could. We'll see what Charles and Lewis do today. We're holding it down PA, 10 points behind Ricardo. So I guess we could get... That's about... That's as high as we're going to be able to go. P7, which is... Uh, much further up the way than I thought we'd get at this point. We're still in a tight battle. We're only one point uh, over Carlos right now. And then uh, look at the rest of it. I don't think we're going to go any further back past Carlos. So still the same three guys down here at the bottom. Our teammate Jordan King and the two Williams. Just a brief look here in the R&D tree. We've got everything adapted for the next season regulations. Chassis and durability. So now I guess we can go back to uh, saving back up our resource points and uh, getting some before the season ends. So with that, we're going to go ahead and start advancing here and uh, see what we get. I see a power equipment upgrade. That sounds exciting. Um, all right, turbo size. That also sounds exciting. Getting some engine upgrades or what? Team building. All right. Look at that. That puts us past 10 million in the bank. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's what we just got. Turbo size. Power unit supplier, minor engine power. I like engine power. We're looking pretty good in this department. You got Mercedes, Ferrari, Alfa Romeo, uh, and then Racing Point. But then there's us. So I guess that makes us the highest uh, Honda-powered team. Am I right? I don't know. That's not really saying much, but, you know, I mean, there's something. All right, Brazil, let's get it. Formula One returns to Sao Paulo once again with the stage set for what promises to be another classic Brazilian Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel famously clinched his third championship here in 2012. And in 2016, Max Verstappen treated us to one of the finest wet weather drives of all time. Interlagos, always a very special race here in Brazil. It's a 2.7 mile circuit with nine lefts and six rights for a total of 15 corners. The fastest lap today should have an average speed of around 135 miles per hour. If, of course, the weather stays dry until the end of the Grand Prix. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Perez, Sebastian Vettel, and Kvyat, Norris, Sainz, Stroll, and Kimi Raikkonen. Verstappen, Giovinazzi, Alexander Albon, and Grosjean, Magnussen, King, Wang, and George Russell, Ocon, they've taken a grid penalty. Latifi, Ricardo, and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? 
All right, here we go, man. It's rolling off P17, Jordan King P16. Love to see it. I don't want to talk about where we qualified originally, but uh, a lot of grip, a lot, ugh, a lot of grip penalties. We'll take advantage of it. No problem. Look at the race strategy: one stop or softs, and then hards. I like it, but we'll probably get a safety car at some point that kind of ruins that. So, although we might not, I don't know. We'll see. The car obviously didn't have qualifying pace, but honestly, I, I thought it felt pretty comfortable in race conditions. We might be missing a little bit of ass grip uh, to, to kind of get up and out of some of these corners, but uh, hey, we'll see how it goes. Once again, tire strats this week. Me and Jordan starting on the softs. I guess we're about on the same strategy. I hope we're on the same strategy. Magnuson is on the hards here. He might be doing the reverse. And then we've got George Russell starting just P18 there behind both of us. And he's starting on the mediums. Fun, fun, fun. Last thing before we get going, man, I hope y'all are excited for Season 2 because it is just around the corner. I've been having so much fun with this damn game, man. I'm so excited for Season 2. Don't go too far, man. Keep on checking that sub box. I think that might be... The first time I ever passed somebody off the grid. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know what the Haas did, but I'm really happy about that. It almost looked like I knew what I was doing there. Look at Jordan coming in to get some. Yeah, Jordan. We're looking good so Let's far. get it, baby. Follow me. Oh, he wants more. Let me, let me, uh, let me see what I can do here. I could do that. I don't know if he's got the stones for that. Doesn't look like it. All right, come on. Around the outside, baby. Come on, let me roll a little bit more. Oh, about ready to roll past Kimmy there too. Oh, great exit, great exit. We on that shit. Uh, whoa, whoa. it's close to, hey, 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 hey. I'm down here. Come on, baby. Let's get it. What a start. Hell yeah. Kimmy's on the hard, so it looked a lot better than what it was, but hell yeah. Gotta use these sauce while we got them, baby. Hope Jordan King's using them back there, too. I see him back there. He hadn't made up as many spots as I have, but... He has made up some. We might be looking for a career day here for Jordan King. Well, hold on. I think this track really plays into our uh, plays in our hands here because there's not a lot of straightaway here. There's about this big this big one right here, and then there's this next one, and that's really about it. Neither of them are really. Neither of them are really all that bad, to be honest with you. So I think the car handles pretty good right here. Again, we we could get the pace to really knock one knock one down like a really fast lap, but I really felt like the race pace was pretty strong. So I missed that corner. Here we come. You know that we also get that minor engine power upgrade. I gotta say, it, it helps a little bit. Oh, oh, look at this! I actually got some suck there. <laughs> and I made a move with a Honda engine. You don't see that very often. Ladies and gentlemen, that puts us in the points. We're down. Up that ass. Up that ass. Let's hit it. Oh, that should be... I don't know. I thought I was going to suck right up to him, but... Uh, we're getting there. Gonna be like, uh, oh, I ran out of damn. To mix two, fuel to mix two. I don't know what you can do about that. <laughs> damn overtake. Not purple though, I think. That was nice. I guess. Okay, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. What's that pit window? Ah, oh, 14. Oh. What the hell's the problem? Oh, Roman grows on. Safety car. All right. No overtaking. Reduce your pace. Keep your delta number positive as we form up. What the hell do we do now? Can we stretch hards all the way? Oh boy. What are we gonna restart on? Like lap nine? 
I mean, we could try it, but... I don't know if that's the move. Pit window, lap 14 to 16. Yeesh! Could come down and put the mediums on it. We could do that. Or we could come down and put softs on it again, and then mediums to the end. Interesting. Interesting call. Uh, I'm going to see what these guys do. If they, I'm, I'm just leaning towards staying out, to be 100% honest with you. I like track position. I really do. Oh, everybody's pitting. I'm fucking I'm staying out with slants. Let's go, Lance. Fuck it. Ha! All right. Oh, all right. I like it. Jordan came in. I like that. I like that call. Jordan is coming in for a stop. Let's let's just try it both. We'll put our teammate probably on the good the good part of the strategy. I'll take the shite version. Yeah, I mean I'm not a big fan of this. Obviously, I would I would probably want to come down under the caution, but uh, we still got some life for these tires. Let's just go and get to our window, and then we just stop once. On the bright side, when we do make that one pit stop, uh, things will be pretty grouped up. Uh, the Mercedes stayed out, which is very interesting because if they fucked it. Then uh, that's oh boy, the real the real interesting thing about it is Charles did the opposite. So this is ah oh, strategy fun. Um, yeah, so Charles started third, and usually he's qualified worse than the two Mercedes, but he's been able to outrace them or out strategize them. I don't know if this is part of it, but we're gonna find out. Botas is actually on the mediums as well as Verstappen. Kimmy is on the hards back there, so this played out really good for them. Me and Stroller on the softs, so we're bugging out the toughest time here. I want to see what Lewis Hamilton's on. Looks like they're both, yeah, they're both on the mediums. Return the position well, that's, that's why they stayed out. The safety car is in this lap. Yeah, on the brakes, so it is. Remember, there is no overtaking until the green flags. It's the about to close that front. Uh, it's about to close that bit of the front for a uh, for a restart. So oh, this this is fun. I'm gonna try to jump stroll here. Come on, green, 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 green. Green flag. Ah. Oh, I buried it. I don't know if I could have got away with that, but um, uh, ah, I fucked it. <laughs> I really didn't want to get a penalty because I didn't know. I don't know when I was allowed to pass and when I wasn't. I don't like. I really dislike the restart rules in this series. Uh oh, we might be able to get him this time now. We got DRS. I stopped using my damn overtake. Uh, I should probably use a little bit of it. Ooh, around the outside. Alright, just enough overtake to get me back in there. Ay, 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 yeah, that's not a fun spot to pass, but... We did it anyways. Alright, uh, go dick up everybody back up there. Park up Park, park the bus. And uh, hopefully you can drive away. Oh boy. Stappen got through. That was too easy for him. He's coming with these uh, quarter tires. It's starting to come in now. Oh boy, here comes Charles as well. Charles is on the softs. Oh baby, he's holding them up big time back here at Pink Car. As long as I can keep on getting clean exits, I don't think Verstappen will be able to get around me. I want to take it another lap or two here, and then we'll come down and pit. I want to get as much as I can out of these tires. All right, I'm pitting this time. I've had about enough. These guys are going to pass me any damn lap. I don't know what the hell Verstappen is trying to do back there. I'm trying to pull over under, but uh, yeah, maybe next time. All right. Oh, yeah. Lost some front tires. All right, we're coming in. Um, box this lap. Okay, we can take you this lap. Fun. See it. Oh, what the hell? All right, well, Verstappen's coming with me then. That's interesting. Two point one, yes sir. Good stop. Pit strategy complete. Oh, man, I don't like this pit exit. Ugh. All right, we're out. Verstappen's on the hards too. All right, well we played that pretty good then. 
We came out 19th. Got some work to do, but, uh... Oh, wow, actually, Hamilton came in, too. He's on the hards just in front of us. Right, I'm just trying to figure all this out here. Yeah, there he goes. There goes Verstappen. He's going to get right on by me. That's all right. I think we're going to try to sit behind him and play around here a little bit. Oh, more pit stops. I didn't see you. Oh, it was Ocon. All right. Ocon stroll back in there. Ocon's on the mediums. So the thing I like about it, we're going to the we're going to the end. Good. And I'm just barely clinging on to DRS here. Getting a little extra pace with Verstappen. Hopefully I can keep with him here for a little while. Oh, a bunch of stops right there. There you go, P up to P14. We got some traffic up here ahead. We got Nicholas. Our teammate Jordan King's not too far up the way as well. Oh, teammate in the pits. Jordan here comes Nicholas as well. I assume that's probably going to be their final pit stops to see. Hopefully they come out good. That's going to put us back up to P8. I think we might have actually played it right, man. We might have played it right. We might be looking at another points day. I didn't think we'd be, uh, be looking at some points today, but you never know with them safety cars, man. You never know. Oh, Gasly in as well as Juvenazzi. All right. P6. Oh, there goes Magnuson. That's going to be another spot. That'll put us up to P5. Oh, baby. Gap to All right, here's the situation. The good news is we're fifth. Okay, gap ahead is 3.1 The bad news is... Kvyat's catching us with softer tires. The good news is, though, he's got a long ways to go. And it's also Kvyat, so I'm not, I'm not really too worried. Our best competition behind me is Kimi and Kvyat, so... I'm not sweating it too much, to be honest with you. But it looks like we're, uh... We're gonna come out here with a P5 unless anything changes. Leclerc's moved into first place. What a beast. What a beast. No, he's not going away just yet. Charles with the quickest lap. I need that, the AWS stats of when the fuck Kibbeet's going to catch me. He's down to two and a half seconds. We're running out of the laps, though. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm bad out of feeling. I'm bad out of ERS, so. I'm just trying to keep the pace up so he doesn't catch me in the first yeah, place. If he does catch me, though. We're gonna be kind of screwed. Oh shit, Botas is falling to third. Oh man, this is gonna set up for one hell of an Abu Dhabi finale. The finish is like this. Two to go, and it's now under two seconds. Mm, I'm about out of tire grip, I tell you that. Alright, here we come. White flag, white flag. Um, yeah, it looks like nothing's really gonna change on this last lap. Trying to step on my dong here and should be able to keep Kvyat behind. 1.9 seconds, he's not in DRS, so his chances are pretty much over with, so let's go ahead and save our stuff here just in case. 1.6 seconds, 1.5 seconds. He's trying, I'll give it to him, he's trying. I, uh, I think I, uh, probably use my. This set of tires a bit harder than I should have, trying to keep up with Verstappen early on. And it cost me in the long run, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's really going to cost us anything. Because uh, we're uh, bad out of time here, folks. Nice and easy. Okie dokie. Ladies and gentlemen, Charles with the dub. We're going we're gonna to pull a P5 out of our ass. Yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> Kimmy and Kimmy! Alright, good runs all around, everybody! Yeah! Fun! That was fun. That was a lot of fun. This track is a lot more fun than it used to be, man. The curbs are a lot more friendly now. I like that. You can actually use them to turn like you should be able to. What a race! 17th to 5th, man! He actually did play it right, man. I probably, I thought I should have stopped under caution, but it worked out with just the one stopper. I'm surprised at myself. Well, look at the finishing results here. Charles with the win. Lewis, Botan's coming home third. We came home P5, man. What a result. 
Kiviet, Six, Kimmy, Stroll, Perez, Norris. I'm really excited to see where my teammate finishes. I honestly, I thought he was going to finish a little bit higher than this, but oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Are you fucking kidding me? 19th? Dude, he was... I, I swear to God, he was running a little bit better than that. He was on the two-stopper. Probably should have put him on one some, some way or another. Somebody told me I could do this. I could look at the tires. kind of forgot I could do this, to be 100% honest with you. Jordan King. Soft, softs, mediums. I wish you just would have done what I did. Because mine worked, apparently. <laughs> softs and hards for the win. Honestly, though, Verstappen had the strategy. Mediums and hards. That was the way to go today. But then Charles won with medium softs and mediums. So I don't, I don't know. Charles is just digging, man. What a hoss. Great work out there today. Thank you. Have your thoughts. Okay. You really cut your way through the field mm. today. What's your strategy? Power unit? I got a... Nah, I mean... The car wasn't very nimble, I'll tell you that. If Dude, if the car was nimble, we probably would have won the Grand Prix. The car handled really good, but it still had its noticeable flaws. Uh, uh, let's, uh, nah, let's give a shout-out to the power unit. I think that's really where our key was today. You're surpassing all expectations. Oh, that's a good one. Stop you? Or anyone stop you? <laughs> uh, with this arrow package? I don't think so. Appreciate your time. Yep, thank you. Look at them bonuses. 700 plus 717,000. Hell yeah. No damage deductions for me, Jordan. <laughs> Way to go, pal. 5,000 is coming out of your paycheck. 12 million. Oh, man. We're going into the final race of the season. Botas has a 10 point lead. And Lewis is pretty much out of it. So I thought it was going to be a three horse race. It looks like it's just two. Ferrari versus Mercedes, Charles versus Botas. Not the two I probably would have picked, but uh, hey, I'll take it. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. One more left, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And we're going to wrap up season one. I'm super excited, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the season up until this point. And we're going to wrap it up in the next one. Once again, appreciate y'all for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode.